Hey guys, it's Jocelyn with Fantasia Elegance. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this very simple and classic um, wire-wrapped toggle clasp. Uh, I love these because not only do you not have to purchase toggle clasps for handmade pieces, uh, but it just adds that extra handmade touch, uh, especially to your bracelets, and they are actually super easy and quick to make. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right in and see what tools and materials you need to make this. So pretty simple, you're just going to need your standard set of tools, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, um, I'd recommend two sets just in case, and your flush, uh, flush cutters. And I do have a list of the specific tools and materials I use in the description section right below this video, as always, if you guys want to know what brands I'm using. Um, you'll also want a ruler, uh, something round to help you get that round shape. I'm just going to use this um, little micro sharpie highlighter. And of course you'll want some wire as well. I'm going to be using a 20 gauge silver filled wire. Uh, you do want it to be dead soft. I get most of my wires from RioGrande.com. Uh, you can also get them at any local craft store. And uh, you also, it's optional, but I do recommend having a steel bench block and jeweler's hammer. Again, optional but recommended on the bench block and jeweler's hammer. Alright, so to start out we're going to make the um, T-shaped toggle here first instead of the round shape it goes into. Um, it's much easier to uh, make this the appropriate diameter based on your toggle than it is to do the other way around. So we'll start with this T-shaped piece. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece that's about three inches. I'm actually going to do three and a half just to make sure I have enough. Um, as always, I do recommend using a little bit more wire than you think you're going to need the first time you're making anything, just so you can be sure you have enough and don't run out if you uh, make things a little bit larger than I do in my tutorials. Alright, so I have my three and a half inch piece of wire. We're going to find the center of this, so right around there. And what this center is actually going to become is the center of the T-bar, right like that. So we want to make two bends on either side of the center. If they don't wind up being centered, don't even worry about it because we have a little bit of extra wire. Um, so I'm just going to slightly offset this from the center, about a quarter inch or so. I'm going to make a really sharp bend here. And again, don't worry about getting uh, the exact measurement I am. You want to aim for your central bar here to be about and it all depends on how large you like it. About one and a half centimeters. So that's about five eighths of an inch right there. Again, you can make this any size you want. I'm kind of going for a medium size toggle clasp. All right, and then we're going to make the other bend. There we go, and just like on the other side, I'm going to crimp that down nice and tight using my chain nose pliers. And if your wire starts bending like that, don't worry about it. You can hold it just like that, straighten it back out so they're running parallel. There we go. I'm just going to tighten that guy on up. Alright, so at this point you want to find the center where these two wires are crossing. And we're going to use that to make the post for our T-shape. And you can see mine is a little waffle jawed here, so I'm just going to grab my two pairs of pliers, just like that, so that I can straighten it all out. So you don't want it to be crooked. There we go. So you want them crossing roughly like this. Uh, you do want them crossing at the center of your bar that you're making here. And I'm going to kind of bend them down ever so slightly. And then what we're going to do is actually twist these two around themselves to make a uh, bar that is perpendicular to the little cross part of the T we made here. So how I'm going to do that is grab my chain nose pliers. I'm going to grab both of these tails at once and you want to twist it so that they start making a nice twist over each other. There we go. So I have one little twist in there. 
and you're going to keep doing that until it's as long as you want it to be. There we are, got another twist. You want to keep these nice and tight so that you're basically merging the two wires as you go down. And I think I'm going to put one more twist in so that we have a little distance between the bar and the loops that we're going to make to attach this to the uh, to the chain or whatever on your bracelet or necklace that you're making. There we go. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, so I put in about three or four twists. And again, this wound up being about five-eighths of an inch for the bar about one and a half centimeters and you want your twist to be about a half a centimeter about a quarter inch just like that and then how we're going to form our little circle here so that we can actually attach this to something um, I'm just very simply going to make a loop with each end and it doesn't matter how big the loop is make it however big you want Alright, so once you have it crossed over, you can go ahead and trim it. Oops, don't drop things. <laughs> you can go ahead and trim it right where it meets there. So just like that. Just getting rid of my excess tail. So then we have one little loop going around, and I'm going to snug it down so that the end is uh, butting up with the other end of the circle right like that okay and then on the other side here we're just going to do the exact same thing except we're bending it in the opposite direction so we're going to have two layers of wire each doing a little loop in the opposite direction Same thing as before, just snip it off right where it meets your, right where it comes full circle basically. And then I'm going to tighten that on up so everything is flush, there aren't any gaps between the wires. There we go. Now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and solder that point um, where we have our wires all meeting. Uh, I feel like for most applications, unless it's a very heavy bracelet or you're going to have a kid tugging at it or something, um, I feel like this is going to be sturdy enough. Because you have each loop going in the opposite direction, that's going to help anything um, pulling on this to keep it from deforming it and just popping open. So there we have our little T-bar made with the connecting point. Let's go ahead and do the circle. So for the circle, I'm again going to get about three inches of wire. That's about, I don't know, 7.7 .7 centimeters. Uh, people always complain if I do either inches or centimeters. They're like, I want to know the other one. So I'm going to try and show you guys both now. So I have this uh, piece of wire, same wire, 20 gauge, uh, round, dead, soft. And we're going to make the circle. So just pull out any round object you have. I'm going to use this Sharpie. Uh, and we're going to use it to put a bend in the middle of the wire to get a nice circular shape going on here. And it doesn't have to be the same diameter that you want the final product to be. It's mainly to get that nice curve in there and then we can either make it uh, bigger or smaller depending on what we need. And the rule of thumb with these guys is that you want the distance from here to here to just fit inside your circle. So basically you want to be able to just fit this through like that. So this is a little bit bigger than we need. I'm just going to squeeze it shut a little bit. Actually that is perfect. So you can see right there that is the distance you're looking for so that your clasp is not too easy to open and not too hard to open. Just like that. So then once we have our circle, what we're going to do is a little bit different. Instead of twisting these around each other, 
I'm actually going to grab right where they cross and take one of them straight just like that and I'm going to take this other one and wrap it around and the reason I don't make it the same way as the T-bar uh, just twisting the two wires together is that um, it's it's very important to have this circular shape here be the right diameter and if you were to twist those two wires together it would probably make it smaller in an unpredictable way <laughs> you might have trouble fastening your um, toggle clasp so that's why we're doing a slightly different approach here so I'm just gonna wrap this around I don't know two or three times it's up to you how many wraps you want to have in there I'm going to wrap mine around twice, then I'm going to snip that end off with my flush cutters. And as you can see, I did have quite a bit more wire than I actually needed here. Um, so that's why I always recommend making something not in your most expensive wire at first. Uh, you want to really get the measurements down so that you know you're only cutting as much wire as you need, because uh, I don't like wasting precious metals. Alright, so then for the uh, loop that we're going to make on the end here, we're just going to use our round nose pliers. I'm going to give that a slight little tilt off in one direction. And I want to wrap this around in such a way that in such a way that its end can butt up flush with the end of this one, if I can get the camera to agree. So basically I want this end to be coming around this way so that it can butt up flushly with this other wrap that we did the other direction. And just so it looks like the two pieces of this clasp go together, I want to make sure that this uh, circle is about the same size as the circle on the other part. So I'm going to make it a little larger here than what I was doing at first. just so it all matches looks like the same set there we are I'm just gonna grab with my chain nose pliers secure that take your other pair and we're gonna wrap around this direction There we go. And then once you get to this point, you want to just trim that end to where it will lie nicely in the space there. And then you just want to use your chain nose pliers to squeeze that on down. Make sure there aren't any sharp ends that will scrape somebody's wrist or catch on clothing, because they certainly wouldn't appreciate that. I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up here. Very good. Alright, you want to double check that your circle is still looking good. It didn't get deformed or anything. Uh, double check you can still get it in. That is a perfect fit just like that. So now this is where the bench block comes in. Um, I do recommend this just to give it a little more uh, holding power so that this doesn't get deformed in any way. So what we're going to do is hammer this out. That'll give it much more strength um, and also make it just look a little bit more finished. So I will mute the video for you here and just tap this out a little bit. And I'm also going to hammer out the T-bar here a little bit to make that more sturdy as well. You want to be careful not to hammer over the um, twist, of course. So there you go. That is how you make this easy twisted style of wire wrapped toggle clasp. Um, I hope you have fun making this and you find it useful in your creations. Uh, as always, please do subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more. I have many more planned. 
um, feel free to comment in the comment section right below uh, if you had any problems or if you have ideas for future jewelry tutorials you might like to see. Um, there are also links to my Etsy shop and Facebook page in the description section below. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting!